Greetings everybody and welcome back. This video is a companion video to the previous video that you watched on revenue and expenses. This video focuses on a hot dog vendor in New York City. And the purpose of this exercise is to take a closer look at variable and fixed costs using um, a relatively simple example of the hot dog vendor. There are some assumptions that we're gonna make from the start to keep it simple. We are assuming that this guy sells only hot dogs with their associated fixings. He does not sell drinks or chips. All right, so that's one assumption that we're gonna make. So to get started, the first thing that we wanna do in question number one, we want to indicate whether the following items, the following expenses are variable or fixed. So we're gonna go through these one at a time and try to decide whether each one is variable or fixed in nature. So let's go ahead and start with um, hot dogs. And let me back up just one second. Um, we have to understand that the finished product that this vendor sells is actually a hot dog um, on a bun, um, generally with some condiments and maybe some vegetables on it. And then it's gonna be wrapped up in a piece of foil. So that is the, the finished product. Just like the finished product that a nursery might sell um, could be a uh, two inch caliper shade tree that's dug bald and burlap, or maybe a 24 inch shrub in a number eight container. So those are products that the nursery industry would produce. For the hot dog vendor, it's as I just described. So the first item in the list, the first expense is the vendor has to purchase hot dogs. And would the hot dogs be a variable or a fixed expense? Well, hot dogs would actually be a variable expense. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a V here for variable. And the reason for that is uh, the more product that the vendor sells, the more hot dogs that he needs to buy to keep up with demand. So moving on to napkins, napkins are on the counter. Some people can take as many as they want or none at all. All right, so napkins kind of brings up an interesting point. Um, some people may consider napkins to be a fixed expense, um, kind of like an overhead expense. Other people consider napkins to be a variable expense. So I consulted an expert on this and he thought that napkins were definitely a variable expense. And the reason for this is simple. You just make an assumption that if you were to double your sales, so in order if the vendor were to sell uh, 500 hot dogs and all of a sudden be selling 1,000 hot dogs, would he have to buy more napkins in order to keep up with those increasing sales? And the answer would be yes, because even though some people don't use napkins at all, the number of napkins that, that leave his stand will increase as his sales increase. And because of that, napkins would be considered a variable expense. Okay, an annual license fee. So this is a fee that would be required by the city of New York. And the vendor is gonna pay this fee whether he sells 10 hot dogs or 10,000 hot dogs. It doesn't matter. It's just something that he has to pay on an annual basis. And it's a great example of a fixed expense. The buns, well, the buns go along with the hot dog. The more product that the vendor sells, the more buns the vendor is going to need to produce that product. So buns would be a variable expense. The foil wrapper, each hot dog is wrapped in one of these. So that is also a variable ex expense because for each product that he produces, each hot dog is gonna be wrapped in a foil wrapper. The more hot dogs he sells, the more foil wrappers he's gonna to need to keep up with demand. So the wrappers would be a variable expense.
All right, so he has this hot dog stand and he has um, or needs electricity for um, a fan, uh, for lights, um, things like that. And electricity is generally considered an overhead or a fixed expense. So we'll put an F in for that. All right, condiments, ketchup, mustard, and hot sauce. Okay, so again, you know, different people are going to want different condiments on their hot dogs. Not everybody's going to take a hot dog with ketchup on it. I would take mine with ketchup on it. My wife would probably put mustard on hers. Um, some people might like a hot sauce. Some people may like all three of those things on their hot dog. But you have to ask yourself this. If the vendor doubles his sales, is he going to need more condiments to keep up with that increased demand? And the answer is yes. Um, as he sells more hot dogs, he will need more condiments, even though different people are going to be using different condiments. So therefore, condiments would be a variable expense. Insurance, uh, we're talking about insurance that the vendor would have to purchase in order to protect his or her business. That would be a fixed expense. All right, and then propane. He has a propane grill. He needs the propane to cook the hot dogs and keep them warm. So the vendor, when he opens up the stand in the morning, the, probably one of the first things he's going to do is light that grill so that he can start to make hot dogs and keep the hot dogs warm. And that grill is going to stay lit during the entire time that his stand is open. So he's going to be, you know, using gas. And again, it doesn't matter whether he's making 10 dogs or 1,000 hot dogs. He still has that gas on, you know, all day during the time that the stand is open. So propane would be an example of a fixed expense. Okay, uniform rental. Uh, let's pretend that this particular vendor has chosen to wear one and maybe he has to pay for his uniform rental every month. That would be a fixed expense. Vegetables. Vegetables are a lot like the condiments. Um, same type of thing. Different people are going to take different vegetables. But like the condiments, the vegetables would also be considered a variable expense. And then finally, this um, hot dog vendor has to rent his cart. And we can assume that he has to pay a monthly fee to do that. So the cart rental would be a fixed expense. So let me double check and make sure I've got these right. So variable, variable, fixed, variable, variable, fixed, variable, boom. Okay, so that looks correct. Let's go ahead and move to the second page. So second page, question number two, um, the hot dog vendor has the following costs associated with preparing each hot dog that he or she sells. So notice that everything that's listed um, in this table are all the things that we called variable expenses on the first page. So we said the hot dogs, the napkins, the buns, the foil wrapper, the condiments, and the vegetables were all variable expenses. And those are all listed in the table. And I give you an average cost uh, for those things. So the actual hot dog itself, each one costs 24 cents. Um, the napkins cost two cents each. Uh, the bun costs 11 cents and so on. So you can see all those expenses. So the question is, how much does it cost the hot dog vendor to produce each hot dog that's sold. 
Well, what we need to do is we need to add up all these variable expenses right here. So we need to add 24 cents and 2 cents and 11 and 2 and 5 and 4. And if you add everything up, you get 48 cents. So let me write that down. So we can say that 48 cents is the unit variable cost or unit cost of goods sold or cost of sales, however you want to say that. So in other words, for every hot dog that the vendor sells, it's going to cost the vendor 48 cents to produce that hot dog. So that's what that means. And um, are the expenses listed above fixed or variable? And we already know the answer to that because all those expenses, as we have already indicated, are variable expenses. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at um, the next part of this page. Okay, question number three. The vendor also has the following additional expenses. So these are all the additional expenses that we have, that he has. And we've already indicated that these uh, we said on the first page were all um, fixed expenses. So if we add up all these fixed expenses, and I've indicated each expense as being the cost or expense per year. So if I add all those up, that comes out to $14,000. So we can say that the hot dog vendor's overhead, his annual overhead, is $14,000 per year. Because remember, the fixed expenses are what we call overhead. All right, and then the next question is, are these expenses fixed or variable? And we've already indicated that they are fixed expenses. Okay, so hopefully you're you're still with me. Let's go ahead and take a look at um, the next page, page three. All right, so question number four. It says the vendor expects to sell 50,000 hot dogs per year at a price of $2 each. And then we have some questions. What are annual sales or total revenue? Um, that is relatively easy to calculate because we just said that he expects to sell or he's going to sell um, 50,000 hot dogs. So let's go ahead and write that down. And he's going to sell them for $2 a piece. So if you multiply 50,000 times $2, that is going to come out to the grand old figure of $100,000. So $100,000 would be the annual revenue or total revenue over the course of one year. Now we have to kind of look at how much is it going to cost the hot dog vendor to produce $100,000 in sales because we know from a previous page that each hot dog, each unit hot dog that he produces is going to cost the vendor 48 cents to make. 
So we can calculate the vendor's cost of sales. And again, remember that cost of sales are all those variable expenses. And um, we said that they added up to be 48 cents per unit hot dog. So we can calculate uh, cost of sales by taking 50,000 because he's going to sell 50,000 units. And it's going to cost him 48 cents for each unit. So I'm going to go 0.48. So 50,000 units times 48 cents per unit comes out to $24,000. All right, so it's going to cost the hot dog vendor $24,000 um, to sell $100,000 worth of hot dogs. All right, calculate the overhead. The overhead we can just grab from the previous page. And we said that the overhead uh, was $14,000 per year. So I'm just going to write that figure down here. Okay, that was the annual overhead. All right, then we, we have some additional calculations that we need to make. Okay, the first question is uh, calculate gross income and I give you the formula for gross income it's right here so gross income is the total revenue minus the cost of sales so uh, we just said that total revenue was a hundred thousand dollars minus the cost of sales which is $24,000. And that equals $76,000. So this hot dog vendor has a gross income of $76,000, but the hot dog vendor hasn't accounted for all his expenses yet. He's only accounted for his variable expenses, but he hasn't accounted for his overhead. So now we need to calculate the hot dog vendor's pre-tax income. And pre-tax income will be equal to the gross income minus the overhead. Well, the gross income is something that we just calculated. So we're going to take this number. 76,000 and we're going to bring it down here. And then the overhead um, we said was $14,000. So $76,000 minus $14,000 will come out to be $62,000. So $62,000 is the hot dog vendor's pre-tax income. Okay, moving on to the next question. Calculate annual net income and the formula for that is net income would be equal to the pre-tax income minus the taxes and then I give you a note there assume taxes are 30 percent of pre-tax income so let's go ahead and calculate the taxes first so we have a pre-tax income of sixty two thousand dollars let me write that here again All right, and taxes are 30%. So we have to multiply 62,000 times 30%. 
So either you or your calculator is going to have to take the 30% and convert it into a decimal to proceed, and 30% would come out to be 0.3 or 0 0.30. And if we go ahead and do that multiplication, then our taxes ended up being $18,600. Okay, so $18,600 is 30% of $62,000, but we're not quite done yet because all we've done is just calculate the amount of tax. Uh, we still have to calculate the net income by taking um, the pre-tax income minus the $18,600 in taxes. All right, so the pre-tax income uh, was, again, $62,000. And we have to subtract our taxes, which were 18,600. All right, if you do that subtraction, then you end up with a net income of $43,400. a net income of $43,400. So on $100,000 in sales, the hot dog vendor at the end of the year is going to walk away with $43,400 in his or her pocket for a year's worth of work in New York City. One other thing I'm asking you to calculate is percent profit, and that's uh, pretty easy to do. And I give you the formula, percent profit is equal to the net income, um, which is 43400 And by the way, um, just a reminder that the words income and profit are synonymous with one another, which means they mean the same thing. So I could substitute, instead of saying gross income, I could say gross profit. Or instead of saying net income, I could say net profit. I'm saying the same thing. Those two words mean the same thing. All right, let's go ahead and calculate percent profit. So I'm going to take my um, net income of $43,400. And I have to divide that by total revenue, which is $100,000. And then I have to multiply that by 100. So if you go ahead and take 43,400 divided by 100,000, um, you are, and then multiply that by 100, your answer is going to be 43.4%. All right, so his percent profit for the year was 43.4%. And by the way, that is a phenomenal percent profit. Now, most corporations don't get anywhere near that. But this hot dog, hot dog vendor did, but even with that, he's still only walking away with $43,400 at the end of the year. All right, so hopefully that makes sense so far. So that brings us to the last page of this worksheet. And um, I guess I ought to go back to the very first page just real quick. Hang on one second here. Get back there. All right, so you will find this um, worksheet in the lessons folder. 
and um, it's called class assignment two right here. So look for that in the lessons folder for, I think it's week four. And let's go back to the fourth page. All right, so it says um, complete question number five. So I'm reading right here. And then tear off the page and turn it in the next time we meet. Or if you're a little more ambitious, you can take a picture of this page and send it to me electronically as a an attachment to an email. Um, each empty box is worth a half a point for a total of eight points. So let's take a look at this. So that means that this box right here is worth a half a point. This box is worth a half a point. So both those combined is one point, two points, three points, four, five, six, seven, so that's how we get the eight points. And you'll notice that I took the liberty of putting in um, the information for a selling price of $2. So what we're comparing in this table is the um, hot dog vendor is going to sell 50,000 hot dogs every year. So that that's, um, stays the same. Um, Regardless of the price that he sells the hot dogs at, he's still um, going to sell 50000 So what we want to do is we want to compare uh, different selling prices to one another. So we already did the $2 selling price, and all I did was just copy all that um, information from the previous pages, and I put, in, put it in this column uh, for the $2 selling price. So your job is to fill out the um, the blank cells for the one dollar selling price right here, and for the three dollar selling price. And I'll give you a hint. So some of the information is um, already been calculated, and it's just a matter of you of of copying that information into the appropriate cells. Um, other information you're going to have to calculate, just like we calculated it on the previous page here, okay? So go ahead and um, take some time to fill in these empty cells. And then when you're done, uh, make sure you put your name on this page somewhere here, you know, write your name on it so I know who you are if you're going to um, hand it to me uh, the next time we meet face to face. Or if you take a picture of it, then, you know, make sure I get a return email address so I, I know who sent it. And then I will go ahead and grade these. And these will go into the grade book as um, class assignment number two. So that's how they'll be in the grade book. And um, I said that the page is worth eight possible points. Okay, so hopefully all that made sense to you. And, um, you know, make sure that um, you watch the video on revenue expenses first uh, before you go ahead and get started with this video. And um, go ahead and fill out the blank cells and turn that in and you'll be good to go. All right, that's all I have. So until next time, thanks for watching.